Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law. Please subscribe to our channel. Oftentimes we, we get calls about relationships that are non-marital unions and there's a child. And the question is, can I leave town? Um, it's often a call from the mother. Uh, the father sees the kid every now and then, but most of the time the child's with me. I want to move uh, to be, uh, you know, in Florida because I like the weather better. Can I take my child there? Well, the answer is you can, and there's a procedure to do it, but if you don't follow the procedure, you're going to have trouble. You're going to have to ask the court to allow for a, a, a change of the legal residence of that minor child. You can go wherever you want, but if you're taking the child with, you've got to ask the court's permission. Now, if you already have full legal custody and full physical custody, it's almost a pro forma thing. The court's likely to grant that permission, no problem. But if you don't ask for permission, and you up and leave, here's what may well happen. Father can't see his kid, all of a sudden he files a motion, he wants his parenting time, and he's asking the court to order you to bring that child back. Now you have a real mess on your hand. And you don't want to do it that way. You don't want to create a scenario where the court already looks askance at you because you kind of, you know, uh, cut corners on what you were supposed to do. It is always better, remember this, to ask for permission than to ask for forgiveness. So do the right thing. You file the appropriate motion. Tell the court you want to leave and why you want to leave. If you've got legal and physical custody anyway, and if the father hardly ever sees the kid, the court will grant it. You'll be going, no problem, but you won't be vulnerable to an attack later on. Now, you decide to cut this corner and just leave in the middle of the night, and, and the heck with that guy, screw him. He never sees the kid anyway or always comes late. Expect problems, and you will get them. Because the father who's going to, you know, the one who comes late, the one who doesn't seem to care, he's the one who's probably going to file that motion to bring you back. And then you're going to have a battle on your hands to be very, very costly, very, very aggravating. So let's not do that. If you have any questions about how this should be done or the right way, reach out. We'll be glad to help you out.